Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. Today we're asking the question, will we ever have contact again? Okay, and so this is a question of, um, it's, it's basically asking, well, will they ever contact me again? Or will I ever contact them again? Will they ever be simply contact again? And this doesn't only refer to a love relationship, it could also refer to a family member or a friend, or um, you know, perhaps a, a work connection or associate or something like this. Uh, the question once again is, will I, will there ever be contact again? Okay, and we have three decks here. We're using Sabila decks. So it's, it's deck one, two, and three. So you could pause the video and uh, uh, go down to the description box below. You'll find your timestamps there. And uh, in the meantime, I'm just going to go ahead and begin. Okay, so for those of you who've um, have chosen this deck here, the question we're asking is, will there ever be contact again? Okay, will there ever be contact again? And two cards have fallen off already, and there's your third one. So, that's, uh, sorry, that was the first one. And uh, this is the last one. So I'm I'm very inclined to say yes, there will be contact again here. Uh, there will be, yeah, there will be some contact. Th this card tells me, yeah, sure, there'll be contact, okay? Also, uh, the five of clubs, cl uh, clubs here shows me that there will be contact. Um, I think, however, that uh, this contact will lead you to think more about the person and it would lead to a longer time when there is not uh, contact. So it's a kind of feeling of longing and love and sentimentality that comes from here. Um, and uh, you, you have this, you know, you have basically, it would kind of, the contact that you have with this person, yeah, which kind of comes about in a, in a way that um, you're almost not expecting, you're almost not expecting this to happen, but it does. It leaves you, it brings you back to a situation where you're thinking about this person regularly and you're not really sure of how to to go on, and uh, you you become quite consumed with their thoughts, and I think that uh, with thoughts of them, I mean. And yeah, so they will be contact again, uh, but it's not going to lead you to feeling uh, rich within yourself. It's not going to lead you to feeling. It's going to it's going to be like you, you these two cards together show me that you're going to be thinking about this person and longing for them and it's going to make you feel poorer as a result it's going to make you feel uh poorer and i know this is a card of of money yeah but some money but it's this is in this context with these two cards together i read them as being uh as you having regressed and you um feeling a, a degree of loss and and uh, yeah it's like you were expecting more from the situation and your expectations uh were not met so whatever contact that you have is going to not be, uh, yeah, the contact in itself is the victory. And the fact that they've come forth and or you've gone forth or that you've met each other somehow, I think it will be a more spontaneous kind of meeting, like you might bump into each other and you would have gotten this contact or you would have uh, been, yeah, you would have been in contact with them. But uh, it's going to fall, uh, it's going to lead you to uh, thinking a lot more about this person and feeling uh, like you've, uh, you haven't gotten really what you wanted from it or you haven't gotten as much as you wanted from it and some of you may go on to feel like uh, that's okay and it, you know I really just wanted to meet with this person but some others of you and I feel this is a, like a really strong sense of uh, sadness that comes from this that that you know that you're not able to have all that you wanted uh, from this person um, and that kind of continues a little longer so, um, yeah, this is a quick reading today to uh, ask the question, uh, will, will I actually, uh, will, they, will I be in contact with them? Will they, come in, will they be contact again? Right? That's basically the question that we've asked here. And I'm putting that away. And then the next deck uh, is this one here. And the question once again is, will they be contact again? Will there ever be contact? Will there ever be contact between us all right that's the same card that's come up in that deck all right so um 
yeah, I think it will. Look, there will be contact between you guys, uh, between you two. There's much thought before you actually have the contact. But, um, you know, it's coupled with the marriage card here. And uh, it's coupled with, yeah, the marriage card, basically. So this shows me that you will, there will be contact. And it feels like um, it will lead to something more than you realized. So unlike the first uh, spread or the first deck that you chose, that some people may have chosen, if you're watching all of these, um, the first one was, you know, it falls below your expectations. But this one, it will be uh, more than you expect, okay? And there will be a uh, an expression of uh, fondness and affection here that you've been thinking about and hoping for uh, for a while. So, um, yeah, and I feel that this would lead to a degree of loyalty and uh, it would lead to faith and trust in the future of, for, of, of there being something, all right? So, yes, there's going to be contact uh, between you two here. I do see that happening. All right, so um, moving on uh, to the next one, uh, which is this one here. Okay, will there be contact between us? Will there be contact between us? Will there actually be contact between us? Will there be contact? Will there ever be contact in this scenario? All right. Oops, here we are. Mm. So, um, yes, the answer again is yes, there will be contact. So with all of those who've chosen uh, these decks here, there will be contact, okay? Um, I feel like the contact would be more friendly uh, at, at the beginning or it might be something where it, there's a promise of something good that comes out of it. Um, it's it's something where there is yeah there's a promise of something good coming out of it there's a sense that it can actually lead to so much more and uh, this is um, yeah this is actually uh, it is leading to something more it is actually leading to something more but then it's as if um, and it is leading to something where you kind of you can enjoy it yeah there's a chance here for love uh, for those of you asking this question around love. Um, but here there's a sense that um, here there's a sense that it doesn't actually move further than that. Yeah. So it starts off quite good and uh, it proceeds into something that's more. But then uh, it's like you're wondering again and uh, you're wondering about uh, the bond that you have. And uh, you might have you might feel as if you've uh, you've lost something in this situation you might feel as if you need to actually uh, you might be, be be concerned about what it is that you um yeah what it, you you might be wondering what happened to this feeling because these two cards together show me that this is not going to continue for long so this kind of coming together and enjoying uh, is not actually going to stay for very long it's going to be something that uh yeah, it's going to be not halted abruptly, but it's not going to be lingering. It's not going to be, it's not going to lead beyond that, you know. Um, it, it, but you will have a time when you will enjoy each other. And um, I think it's you who will be wondering uh, what it is that, you know, that you, you've you you've had with this person. What is it that's actually happened uh, with this person? And if there's a sense here that they presented themselves as something that they were not, they, with this card here, I feel that this person has presented themselves that, like somebody that they're not, like somebody more important than they are, or has they, as if they have more to offer. And they may have made some offers to you, which they have not uh, brought into being. They may have built up your expectations to some degree and work that situation and, you know, continue to, to be there and create that expectation in you. Uh, and then it's like they vanish. Hmm. Oh, that vanishes. It's gone, you know. So I think that uh, with that, it's, um, yeah, I think it's you will have contact with them. And, uh, and and this is what you can expect from that. So I'd like to, uh, yeah, this was just a quick, um, will there ever be contact? Yeah. Um, 
And I do feel that in these situations, there will be contact. Um, and there is something to be, there's something more than that. Yeah, it, it kind of develops into to something more than that. So I thank you all for, um, for coming by and for uh, partaking in this reading and um, wishing you lots of love and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.